Rodeo House of Rips. Pimpas um rato ameno com família. De... Sempre de movie box, banda de vida. Coração mármore. Olimpia. Run, ride, swim and gym. Nós te queda riba Caracas vai ver. Banda de The Movie Box. De família de excelência. Bueno chicos, bienvenidos a la siguiente edición de Contacto. Me estaba pidiendo bo indulgencia, no estaba ahí con misa papia na inglés. Me tengo visa para me como introducir mi invitado, ¿no? Con tajasi un año pasado con el programa que me será toma lugar. Bo estaba mira and also by Papia, Dikon, Umbe Estame. Um, welcome to this edition of Contacto. My name is Chacho de Castro, and I'd like to introduce you to two very sp special people to me and our, our community. First, um, our Minister of Economics of Economic Affairs, Mr. Nasser Hakim, How are you? and my friend, ha! Hi. Jacob. Good to see you again. Jacob. Happy uh, New Year. This is this is a first. Um, I thank you for accepting our invitation. Um, first of all, uh, welcome to Contacto. Thank you. And uh, um, yesterday, you both were involved in what was called a seminar medical tourism or M Zone. Yes. As the minister, can you give me an idea exactly what happened there? Well, uh, basically, uh, we started this. Uh, uh, this event uh, two months ago, uh, we had uh, uh, we initiated a new pillar in uh, in Curacao's economy that I would uh, call the medical tourism. Uh, uh, not just by ideas, but we had to to sign a uh, ministerial decree where we liberated the prices for tourists mm. uh, who are coming to Curacao for medical uh, care. When you say liberated, liberated, we took out the cap on uh, what. Uh, uh, medical institutions, uh, hospitals, uh, clinics, uh -huh. they can charge. So uh, uh, they could be charging the tourists uh, the amount of money that they would agree with the tourists to pay, okay. um, where this uh, thing would not uh, at all uh, affect the prices for the local uh, market. Okay. Now with this extra money, the medical institution, uh, the hospital, the clinic would be uh, gaining and investing its own facilities and giving better service to the local inhabitants of Curacao. Of course. Um, this means that you need to start doing some publication or some publicity? Of course, the, this and the, the, gov the government countries. usually does not uh, involve itself in the micromanagement of any sector. Uh, <coughs> uh, what we do is basically we lay out the ground, we do the facilitate the, we infrastructure. We the infrastructure, we do the uh, um, we adapt the laws uh, in order to be attractive for this kind of uh, uh, for this kind of investments and for this kind of business. So it's going to be businesses that run. Of course. Thing. So those who are in the medical business, uh, they will see the difference. Uh, we will be upgrading our medical facilities, our uh, medical service, without investing into it. We will be um, the tourist will be contributing to this uh, upgrade. Um, which. Tourist. We were talking about uh, the tourist. area of the Caribbean or everywhere? Well, let me, um, of course, the, these medical institutions, they have to get uh, their clients. So uh, they have to do the research. We as a government, we can help them into this. But I could give you some examples. In the Netherlands, insurances doesn't cover all the procedures. Uh, for example, dentistry is not covered to the, to, the, to the level that it should be in the Netherlands. This is why we see a lot of Dutch people, they go to, to Turkey to okay. do these procedures because the prices are within uh, what the insurance uh, would pay. Uh, we can take advantage of uh, services and procedures that um, in the Netherlands, in the United States, insurance uh, companies, they do not pay and we could compensate and we could 
something else what we could do is we could um, uh, try to um, uh, attract certain technologies in the medical field mm -hmm. uh, where uh, uh, people would come to Curacao because you cannot find it somewhere else. Of course, yeah. And then by this, um, our people would be uh, exposed to this kind of service instead of going abroad and paying a lot of money to get it. Here, they would get it without the investment and the money. Of course, yeah. Jacob, you, you were there. Um, what were the highlights and uh, how soon do you think this, can, this thing can be rolling? It's already rolling. Well, <laughs> that we start getting <laughs> tourists coming here. And we do have a lot of tourists coming here. Uh, uh, think of swimming with the Already? dolphins. Swimming with the dolphins. You have handicapped children yes. that swim with the dolphins. Of course, There's yes. There's a whole hotel there full of patients swimming with the dolphins. That's therapy. And they're, they're handicapped kids uh, on horseback. You know? So we already have it. We have kidney dialysis. Uh, we have detox clinics. And we could have 10 to 20 more clinics. We could have an entire industry. And at the moment, the medical field is suffering. The front page of one of the newspapers today said, a neurologist is leaving because he cannot do business anymore. And we had another specialist who was leaving just a few months ago because of overregulation. They cannot develop their business. Of course. So deregulation is number one. And making the field larger, a larger scale, is number two. And that's why we had the island of Aruba come and they said, let's join forces. Let's do marketing together. Let us not compete. Let's work together. So we have specialists that you don't do and you don't have, and, and we have specialists that don't have, so of let's course. work together. So See? you had medical institutions and members of the government yesterday? Yes. Of from Aruba? Well, the unfortunate thing was <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, four ministers of Aruba got stuck on an insole airplane. But it doesn't matter, they'll come back next week or two weeks from now, we do it all over again. We had a dress rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> and it was excellent. Yeah. It was okay. Yes, it was okay. Really good, yeah. Uh, how, are, how is this going to be done with money, financially? Uh, we're going to have uh, agreements with insurance companies, etc.? No, listen. Or uh, not necessary? Private, private medical um, uh, institutions in Curacao are willing to invest money. They want to invest money. Uh, they just want the government to help them uh, in uh, uh, not blocking their their uh, their uh, uh, their work. Uh, usually, the government, as I told you, it facilitates. Uh, they're not asking the government for much. They're just asking the government to to be practical of course. and give them the opportunities to make uh, make their business work and attract more clients, uh, uh, patients in this case, uh, to the island. Now, the initiative that we brought in, uh, uh, Aruba was watching, and so that uh, what we did uh, was great, and they like to do the same. Uh, of course, in the knowledge economy, uh, the resources are not depleting, are not scarce. The knowledge, the more you share knowledge, the more you get out of knowledge. Of course, yeah. Okay, it's, uh, um, it, it's, it's the other way around by from the resources that when you use, you get less, while in knowledge, you get more when you use it. So this is why we decided to share knowledge with Aruba in order this knowledge could multiply geometrically and we could have an industry in this area attracting more people to the Southern Caribbean region. Okay, um, so now... Money, what were you talking Of course, about? sorry? Re you remember when we opened the kidney dialysis clinic, what did I say? Do you remember that? Mm, no. no. I said we have to learn peeing. Peeing. Right? P, P, P. Public, private, partnership. Yes, sir. Right? And that's the key. We have to work together in the public. We have to put money together, private, and we have to have a partnership. We have to learn peeing. Of course, yeah. right? That's the key. There's a whole bunch of P's after each other. P, P, P. Okay. And the private sector now, the private sector is realizing that the private sector is becoming um, more private than the private sector itself. 
it is uh, taking the lead in bringing these things together, and the PPP is working. Yes, P it's working. PPP. Okay. Okay. There so is synchronization. There is synchronization right. of ideas. Okay. Okay. So say it together. P P P. P yes, P P P. We're playing all together. P P P P. That's it. How how do we rate the medical treatment? Why should people come here instead of going to? Cuba, Venezuela, or any place else. Ah, that's a very interesting. Now, most people that I have asked, they'll say, well, I go somewhere else because it's cheaper. So I went to the McKinsey report. McKinsey is a large consulting, consulting firm, and they did a very extensive report. And it turns out that only 7% go for low prices. So price competition, forget about it. You're not interested in price competition. You're interested in quality in what you're getting and something you're not getting somewhere else. I'll give you an example. We have a detox clinic, right? Yes. At the moment. It's full at the moment. And what do these patients have? With tourists? With only tourists. Nobody How many people are we talking about? Uh, we have 24 suites. 24 suites? So 24 dedicated only to? To detox, detox foreigners who pay almost a thousand dollars a day, right? And who have a minimum treatment time of three months, right? Well, okay, a thousand dollars a day, we're speaking about Everything high included. profile clients. No, it's all paid for by, by the insurance company. Oh, by the insurance company. Totally right. insurance company, right? Okay. So these people won't have anonymity. They don't want to be known in their own country. Of course, yeah. So, and they find that here, people do not know them. And in their own country, they would be exposed. Of course. See? Okay. So here's a unique, Selling proposition, USP. We okay. have PPP, I have USP. Ha, of course, <laughs> not USB. No, 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 uh, USP. <laughs> so unique selling proposition. Okay. We can develop a lot of unique selling proposition. Swimming with the dolphins is a USP. Okay. See? Yes. And so we have how many, how many do we count? Ah, uh, very good question. Um, we, if it is up to us, will have 10 clinics operational by the end of the year. By the end of this, this year? year, right? Okay. How many are there now? At the moment, we have three clinics operation. Okay, but the hospital, for instance, is not included, or no, 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 the totally private clinics. Only nothing to do with anything else. Okay. Right. Tom's clinic, etc. Tom's will work with us. Tom's just opened a sleep clinic. Mm -hmm. I mean, of can you I imagine uh, people have sleep disturbance and they can do a sleep clinic? It's like, well, wonderful. Of course, yes. I go on vacation and I sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a unique <laughs> selling prophecy. It's okay, fantastic. Okay. okay. Um, right. uh, are there expectations? Um, how many people do you expect? The is there any? McKinsey tells us that the market in 2012 is $100 billion worldwide. Right? Okay. And it's grown from less than 10 billion in 2009. So it's grown tremendously in two in years, three years. Three years. And in especially the United States, the United States alone, they're expecting this year two million Americans to go abroad for medical treatment. Two mm. million. Impressive. In Europe, we already have a million and a half medical tourists per year going mm. abroad. Okay. So it's a tremendously fast expanding and growing market. Okay, so what? let me just enter into tourism for a moment. <coughs> How many people do we have that stay overnight? Do at, at this moment? Yes. Between uh, 500,000, uh, uh, approximately 500,000. 500,000. Yes. Five and with cruise ships? How uh, many we people? We have one million now. One total, million? Total, yes. Okay. St. Martin compared? No. No, I'll tell you what. what Saint we Martin will be something like two million. Yes, yes, but um, you know our tourism is different from St. Martin's. Uh, we, uh, our product is different from St. Martin's. Uh, this is a real uh, country with uh, that can provide culture, and this is why now we are uh, 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 diversifying uh, uh, our tourism More sector. Our tourism, tourism sector, and this yes. is why uh, we started with this medical, and then the. Uh, transnational education uh, sector, which is, uh, we call it uh, educational tourism, attracting universities, um, uh, higher educational uh, facilities, uh, uh, students, international students to come to Curacao, and all this will, as I uh, previously said, 
this will make our demography younger, more young people, the smart people that uh, will be coming here, living among us, uh, learning from us, teaching us. Um, uh, this is uh, very bright uh, yeah. for Curacao. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's Cap, fantastic. Sorry? It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, Cap says that the uh, traffic at the airport mm -hmm. augmented with 15%. Of course. This is the result of, of good work. I mean, systematic work. Uh, we are after this day by day. Uh, I'm leaving in two days to St. Martin to deal with the airport of St. Martin, how to cooperate with them. Uh, they like what we're doing, what we're attracting. Uh, yes, we cooperate with them. You're Why really not? Sharing. Of course. Okay, uh, but on, on the other hand, mm -hmm. um, FAA says that they rated us category two. Yes, uh, this is from from one. From one. Yes, from one. Okay, two. so so uh, this uh, this is how does it affect us? Well, it will it will affect uh, us uh, PR wise. Uh, otherwise, no. Some people say uh, yes. Uh, I would tell you uh, uh, very simply: we are prepared uh, for this PR battle. Uh, City Bay is uh, preparing itself, was preparing itself, and now do we have to do damage control uh, on the PR side. Otherwise, it will not uh, affect us at all. Okay. Your no, opinion? No, there'll be, listen, I'm not involved in airlines mm -hmm. and stuff, so I did, uh, one warning, we had a great PR tool, and that's space travel, remember? Mm -hmm. The CTEX, yes. I think you call yes. it, right? Yes. CTEX cannot take off from a Category 2 airport, mm -hmm. and they will not. Mm -hmm. So we have to get back to Category 1. If you want to do that, we want to keep that, and have to go to Category 1. You say they will not or... They cannot, they, they will not. Yes. Okay. They made it very clear. They told me, and they told the ministers, they told everybody else, we're not going to do it, period. So we have to get back to what? And, and how long is it going uh, to take? Probably in six months. You know, the uh, Minister of um, uh, Transportation, Minister Cooper, uh, inherited a lot of, uh, lot of uh, problems. Yes. And uh, they were working very hard the previous year on it. But... Uh, we were uh, graded down, and uh, probably within six months uh, he would uh, regain uh, okay. the uh, Which um, would be a miracle, position. considering yes. the fact that it was already known in 2008. Yes, yes of course. Right? Of course. This is and an old thing. This right. is an old thing. It's three years old. Okay, but uh, they got three months. If FAA gave Curacao three months. And three Did months you cannot do it, because this is not a hardware. It is... Uh, you have to prepare the people. We do not have the people. We don't of have course, the trained yeah. people. This is a process that should have started long time ago until you have the right people in the right place. Uh. We do not have the, the right people because okay. there was no training. And in six months, you There was no preparation for the people to take over. Okay. And this is, this is the problem. Do you believe that... And not only, in the not only in the aviation sector, in many sectors, we uh, do not have... Uh, we, we didn't have enough prepared people to take over different parts of, of our Curacao. economy. So yes. you're saying then that it was working deficiently? We were very bad past. deficiently and what added insult to the injury is the uh, earthquake in Haiti uh, where two of the best people at the Department of, Avi uh, of, of Aviation, course, yeah. they lost their lives and then, I of mean, we were, we were very well exposed to this. Sure, sure. Okay, um, do you believe that in the end mm -hmm. It will affect the fact that uh, space experience will or will not come. Well, they know they know about this and uh, they were informed. But of course, uh, we have uh, a director of the department, uh, uh, Signora will Hollander, will and she's working day and night. To okay, and we're will, to help will we make it? Because we will make it. We will make it. Definitely. We will make it. Yes. You are so believe. Of course, we, we, let's work hard. Mm. We'll get there. If we don't work, like the last four years. Of we course. won't get there. Of course. Right. We, ha we have to... Let's work. join forces and get there. In it's every sector simple. we have deficiency of people. people okay, are not tell, me, people. tell me tell me, two things, okay. for example, what has to be upgraded. In the airport? At the airport. Well, I mean, the, the, the best person... You said to personnel, answer, for, that's uh, one. This personnel. Mm -hmm. What okay, else? For and, and there are certain codes and certain procedures that have to be updated, but these... <coughs> To be updated, you need to have the right people to implement them. Of course, and yes. So it's back to people. Okay. Do we have to import people to do? Well, it? this is this. That was an option, 
uh, but uh, and the Department of uh, of Aviation is and the Ministry of Transportation are looking into it. Uh, we had this on the table, but uh, I mean th they have to decide on it. If we have to import it, it will be what from Holland? Uh, it would from be no. It doesn't have to be from Holland. We w they were from trying the to look for yes, from the same, from anywhere. Of course. Okay. With your permission, we'll mm -hmm. comply for a moment yes. with our sponsors, and then we'll back we'll with more. As a matter of fact, um, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, there is one bailiff. Durwarder, that is, uh, if I understood it correctly, he even confessed that he um, gave out the information that he shouldn't have. Yes. And the information that he gave out, I want to know if it affects the government or if it affects you or the other minister personally when we come back. Okay. okay? Uh, stay with us and we'll be right back. Ave, con un innovación completo y con orgullo, Curaçao Marmar está procesada de piedra de Newport. Según el técnico de Marmar, para destacarnos más producto único y muestra con nos tan de por. Sea con piedra de Curaçao o con Marmar importa, Curaçao Marmar es una de nuestra comunidad una opción nunca antes disponible. Brenta en el mundo de Curaçao Marmar. Visita nuestro showroom en Santa Rosa Vej o llama 736-4155. Cura São Marco, o sonho na realidade. Lenchi Carnaval, Charlie una pacha viena y mi tarde nueve pa nuevo presentado para Rígnal Maduro, aquí en la posible televisión. ¡Alegría! back in contact we're back in contact live as a matter of fact you can start calling us four six three six one three seven just that and you will be able to speak to our guest the Minister of Economic Affairs Mr. Nasr Hakim or Jacob Heldecker um, okay so just do call a bailiff got fired or, or laid off, I don't know the term to say it, because it gave out information pertaining to your blasting, your tax um, situation, yours and Yamanuddin. How does it, how does this affect you or the government or your position? Well, this is private information that uh, was not verified by any of the parties, especially by me. Uh, you know, um, um, you would have uh, also a file that is, was never verified by you. 
uh, you didn't uh, uh, go ahead and um, uh, um, looked at it and uh, automatically it was in the hands of everyone else so everybody knew about it except you of course uh, so when we talk about integrity I mean somebody has to look in the mirror and uh, talk about it of course okay I as a person uh, since I came into this position I set the goals that uh, how we have to move this country forward to the best of everyone uh, we put politics aside but then until now we are not resting every day there is something that uh, comes up and somebody tries to put um, themselves above everyone else uh, nobody is claiming the moral authority uh, let's have the whole country to have a high moral standards uh, in order for us to keep on uh, go on the same line to move this country from a small barranca de la man into a real powerhouse in this area we have a lot of potential let's stop doing these these things of course. Um, are there going to be penalties well i mean this is uh, up to the uh, our legal departments to look uh, what should happen uh, basically i uh, i'm a very focused person i don't look uh, uh, of course i look in the in the mirrors okay because i don't want to make an accident but mm. i'm i know where i go and i know what are the objectives that we have to uh, to realize of course Okay, um, let's just go to energy. Jacob, you've talked to me several times during the decades that you were here um, about the energy, energy from under the sea, energy from the wind, energy from... What is the situation in your mind? Energy to, to the public is too expensive. It's far too expensive and it's absolutely not necessary. There are energy sources available, readily available, with little or no investment uh, that will cut our energy costs in half or even a third of today. And it's very simple to get in here. They're available. Okay, but, okay, but the minister, uh, are you satisfied with what's happening? Is there is, uh, are there sufficient initiatives to lower the cost? The first the initiative need? you have to cut the waste. The the waste waste. Okay. You have to waste cut the waste and illegal use. And you have to and then right. you have to and illegal use. Illegal use. Yes. Okay. You have to cut the waste and you have to cut the mismanagement. Yes. And I believe our government started with these two. Um, um, uh, it doesn't take much to do it. It not just needs perseverance, and you have to take decisions. Uh, the moment we started with this, uh, we got a lot of political opposition on this. Course, yes. The matter is not political at all. It is uh, uh,